Bittersweet was published in 2020 by Koo Games. It was designed by Matthew Hawker and illustrated by Ashley Miller and Olivia Rom. Koo Games provided this in exchange for an honest review. When four players collect the yummiest chocolates while trying to avoid the yucky ones, flip over chocolates, draft them, and try to sneak those unwanted ones back into the box. Each chocolate has several different characteristics, including shape, texture, and coating. Players want as many chocolates, chocs, that match their unique, secret yum preference card as possible while avoiding those on their yuck preference card. While you'll score points based on the chocs card value, your real points will come and be lost depending on how well you followed your yum and yuck. The round ends when all chocs in the box are face up or drafted, or when each player has gained two empty wrapper cards from returning unwanted chocs. The first player to win two rounds wins the game. To break it down, Flip chocolates and collect and avoid ones based on your preferences. That's bittersweet. Our games of bittersweet, including setup and takedown, have been around 40 minutes. This includes a handful of teaching games. Players familiar with the rules could play in a little over a half hour. I enjoyed this most with three players, but it was fun with four as well. There's a solo mode that adds a bot to be. I didn't get a chance to try it before this review went live, but I look forward to giving it a shot. You need about three feet by four feet to play this game. The central area of chalks increases in size with more players, although player areas stay the same size at all counts. Rectangular tables are best. A five-year-old can understand the rules, but the memory aspect and maximizing yums and yucks means this is probably best saved for seven-year-olds or experienced six-year-olds. In our second game of Bittersweet, I did not start off well. All the face-up chalks were veggies or fit my yuck, and each blind draw or take that action my mom or dad did hurt me. I revealed a card that let me switch my yuck preference for a random one. My luck immediately turned around, and my hand was now worth huge points. I dominated the second round and just beat Dad in the third to win the overall game. Bittersweet has incredible graphic design. The different chalk icons are easy to tell apart from across the table, and every game icon is on your player board. The chalks have a color reminder and a physical shape to help distinguish them. Plus, have a C or S to indicate whether they are creamy or solid. Nice touch. The wild and veggie cards also easily stand out. The preference card makes scoring a snap, and even the game boards themselves help players because the color sign indicates which players have won a round. The rules are intuitive. Of course you want more yummy chalks than yucky ones. On your turn, you can only perform two of three available actions, and each takes just a few seconds. With a small box, simple rules, and fast gameplay, this is perfect to just toss into a bag or purse and bring somewhere. There is a high amount of luck, but it can be mitigated a bit because you can at least see the abilities or reveal cards. Rounds are slower if all players spend each action revealing, not to mention they can trigger the end of the round. Yuck cards might not be the end of the world because some don't award negative points until you have a certain amount of them. Second, you can return cards for empty wrappers. Third, maybe you're recursion round one, but dominate in round two. The game doesn't care about round scores, only round winners. The game is more tactical than strategic. Your preference cards guide you, but those chucks may not readily available. Thankfully, chucks are still worth points on their own. You can win by mostly ignoring gums if you don't overdo your yucks. Not every chalk card will come out in a round. And there are a lot of chucks, and there are numerous preference combos. Add this to player styles, and you have tons of replayability. If you dislike memory games, you might not like this, although there's so much more to this than the memory aspect. If you dislike negative player interaction, you should probably try before you buy. Bittersweet is a set collection game with secret positive and negative goals. The clear graphic design and quick turns make this approachable for almost any player. Because your goal is to win two rounds and your scores don't carry over from round to round, a round of bad luck isn't so painful. You start fresh with an equal chance to win each round. We said on Twitter that this is deeper than its rulebook led us to think. The rules may be simple and turns are very quick. The actions, card abilities, and preferences turn a simple drafting game to a clever one. If you like manageable randomness and tactics with a bit of strategy, you'll probably like this a lot.